Hey YouTube, I'm Mars1952 and today I'm going to fix this plastic storage bin using the thermal property of elastic memory in plastic. Uh, you can use this technique to fix just about any plastic that doesn't have a fiber reinforcing in it. And it works a little bit on the fiber reinforced stuff too. So let me zoom in and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, this is a plastic storage bin. They're cheap, and just about everybody I know has at least one of them. And my wife uses this one to store cookie decorating stuff for Christmas cookies. Well, over the years, stuff gets piled on the top of it and it's distorted. It's bowed down, it's bowed down the front to the point where the drawer won't close, and that's pretty annoying. So, I'm gonna fix that. So I'm gonna this. I've already partially disassembled it. Get the drawer out of the way. And uh, it just says, it comes apart by snapping, and I'll uh, snap it the rest of the way. Okay, so that part, this part is fine. That part's fine, put that out of the way. This is the culprit. Uh, if I'm not set up right, you can see it's bowed down in the middle, and it's bowed down in the front. So what I'm going to do is put it in the oven and soften it and elastic memory will allow this to reform the way it was molded in the first place. Um, now this particular piece has the um, symbol 5, it's polypropylene and that has a melting point of 160C or 320F. That's the low side of the melting point. So I've preheated the oven to 300F, which is, I don't know, probably 150C or so. Um, I'll put the right numbers up there. Now, one key thing here is you don't want to have any radiant heat on the plastic because it'll bubble and it'll look bad. So probably it's a good idea to turn the oven off, which I'm going to do right now, and then you put this in the oven. So I have the oven preheated to 300F and I'm going to put this in there for five to ten minutes and let it soften. All right, I'll get back to you when it's time to check it. Okay, it's been about seven minutes and it's already seems to be soft enough. It's, it's best to sneak up on these things. You don't want to melt it too much. So I have cotton gloves here um, to keep my hands from getting burned and uh, just pull it out and you can see that it's softened up some. And I'm going to overcorrect this by putting cardboard under the uh, corners. And then I'm going to weight it down with a cookie sheet and then a jug of water. Now we just have to let it cool. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. This is room temperature again. Now it's time to see what happened. Let me zoom in. Okay, so take the weight off, cookie sheet off. Let's see what this looks like. You can see it's actually bowed the opposite direction a little bit now. Before, when I had it on this side, it was bowed so far down that it rocked. But now, this edge is nice and flat. My overcorrection didn't overcorrect, it just took it to flat. I'm going to snap it back together and see if it works. Now, the beauty of this is that you can do it several times if you need to sneak up on it. Okay, let's try the drawer. Voila! It works like a champ now. Now as long as we can avoid stacking a bunch of stuff on there, it's going to be okay. I hope you can use this tip to save yourself a little bit of money and mostly aggravation. Uh, my daughter has a whole bunch of these things and she could use this to mend all of them. So anyway, I'm real happy with it. Recap, you check the symbol on your plastic of resin and look up the melting point. Heat up your oven, preheat the oven to below the melting point. I usually go, you know, 20 degrees Fahrenheit below or so.
Turn the oven off once it's hot. Put your piece in there. If you try to put the piece in while the oven is still turned on, the, the elements will glow. You'll get radiant heat on the plastic and the plastic will melt and bubble irregularly. Uh, it's just not going to be faster, it's just going to be worse. If you have the temperature above the melting point, the whole thing, all of a sudden, it'll look pretty good and then it'll just start to sag and you'll have a big nasty mess in your oven. So, keep the temperature down. Put it in for no more than usually 10 minutes. This one did it in 7, sometimes I've had to go a little bit longer. Check it periodically. Just reach in and touch it with your cotton gloves to see how flexible it is. You can tell that when the plastic starts to give. Take it out of the oven and form it. You have to hold it in place with something flat to make it the shape that you want. Um, and if it doesn't, it just doesn't work, you just repeat it. And as long as you don't melt the thing in the oven or catch it on fire, it's going to be fine. And it's not going to catch on fire as long as you're below the melting point. I think the ignition point of this is pretty high. I'd have to look it up as probably more than the ignition point of paper. All right, that's it. Have fun.